Hey Freedom Artists, this is Mrs. Peterson over at Freedom Elementary and I'm going to be talking about the artist Thomas Dambo today and all of his recyclable sculptures. So I'm actually going to be going through my recycle bin at home, finding all kinds of materials that I could build a sculpture out of and my idea was to build a cat since I have two cats of my own as models for my sculpture. So let's go and head over to my recycle bin. All right, so I found my recycle bin. I'm just gonna take my lid off and dig through. And I, we've been eating lots of yogurt and I bet you guys have lots of toilet paper tubes over this time. So I'm gonna pull out some of those. I might also pull out some cool yogurt cups that can make a cool shape for a body or something. Um, if you have any bottles with caps on them, you could take those out to use in a sculpture. Um, or like little containers. This one might be kind of too big for what I'm thinking of, so I'm not going to choose that one. Milk jugs. Um, if you have old cereal boxes, those are perfect for cutting out of or just plain old card. Don't even think about it. This cardboard box is mine. Um, not really sure what's going on, but I saw my mom digging around in the trash and it's kind of weird. I don't know what she's planning on doing with all that stuff, but... It'll be interesting. Okay, so you have all of your parts picked out. Now you need to pick out some glue or tape or scissors. Supplies to get you started with building your sculpture. So you just heard from glue bottle. Uh, yeah, but I'm actually a better glue to use for sculpture. But I'm pretty hot, so you gotta make sure that you have a parent with you to help make sure that you stay safe so that my glue doesn't burn you. Um, my glue dries pretty fast, so I'm pretty nifty at building sculptures. Ooh, ooh, don't forget about me. I'm very sticky, and I can help you attach all of your parts to your sculpture. I might not look the neatest, but you can always cover me up with markers later or other details. Hey guys, I have a whole table full of supplies ready to show you how to create a really cool 3D sculpture using recycled materials. And my idea was to do a cat, so I'm going to think about what I want the shape of my body to look like. So I knew I wanted the shape of the body to be a little bit thicker. So I'm gonna start with this body shape and I'm actually going to build, I think I'm gonna use one of these containers to attach as the head, but there's an opening on the top and I could not find a lid. So instead what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make it out of cardboard. And so I'm gonna trace it on. That way I have a place to attach my ears to later too. So let's get started. some of the details on my cat I'm gonna add on things like whiskers and figure out how to build some arms to put on there um, I also might draw some designs inside of the eyes or shapes inside of here um, I could color the plastic with like sharpie or something um, I could add a tail so I'm gonna kind of think about different materials I could use so some things I could use for whiskers are just like little toothpicks or you could even take a little uh, paper clip and bend it or if you do have some of these pipe cleaners at home all of those would work so I'm just gonna put a little bit of dot of glue on the cheek of the cat and I think I'm gonna go with these fun bright colored whiskers I like that they're bendy so you could make them curly if you wanted to, or kind of change the way that they look. That sounds fun to me. Then I can take a Sharpie or some kind of marker and add in designs inside of the eyes. So if I wanted it to have like the little dot inside, I could add that. You have googly eyes you could also add googly eyes to yours <laughs> I could also paint the top of this or use markers or crayons to kind of try to color it another cool thing you could do to make arms is to actually cut little slots out of here and cut your shapes out of the cardboard and insert them Two. 
YouTube. And at my house I'm going to actually add on a little collar for my cat with the name tags mystery solved I guess she was making a cat sculpture inspired by none other than me so I hope you have fun this week making your own sculpture and if cats aren't really your thing then you might want to watch the next few pictures to get some inspiration for other ideas that you could create. how to create a cool sculpture out of recycled materials. I'm so excited to see what you guys come up with and all of the creative things you do with all of that trash. Because remember, one man's trash is another man's treasure. So make good use of all those things around your house or outside in your yard. Have fun this week and be creative.